So I've been uh, pounding away on FT8 for the last, almost, I guess, three years as W1 DYN. I collected uh, over over 12,000 QSO. So I said, well, okay. I mean, I got the DX100 from ARRL and QRZ and the worked all states from those groups. So like, well, what else can I do with all these points? So, so I was going to download the FT8 uh, a contest app uh, a long time ago, but I kept getting... Um, you know, my virus tracker kept rejecting it, and Microsoft always looked suspicious at it and so on. But I finally said, okay, I'll, I'll give it a shot and see what happens. So uh, I did that the other day, and then I thought, well, that's something interesting to talk about for the club. So I will uh, proceed to uh, give you my little show here. And see, share screen, right? And uh, here we go with that screen. And uh, share. Okay, from the beginning. Uh, does everybody see the page? Yes. Okay, so uh, here we go. Um, how to join the FT8 uh, Digital Mode Club. First, you go to their website, uh, ft8dmc.eu, and uh, fill out whatever they want, and they will send you a document with a very long secure code. I mean, you know, like 128 character code. Like, this is really important stuff here. Now, in order to be able to actually get awards, they refer you to another website called the Ultimate AAC Software from uh, the European, I think, Phase Shift uh, Communication Club or something, www.epc.mc.eu. Okay, so you want to have available your ADI files of FT8 contacts. Now you can find it in several places. The ADI, ADI files appear within your WSJTX list of files, or they can come from your QRZ files. If you uh, tell QRZ to generate this, uh, this file for you. So uh, I've been, work since I work, try to keep everything straight on QRZ. I downloaded that file. Uh, then we have to go back to the next back to the FT8 page, enter the code and I'll, uh, this is just a summary. and the award software will analyze your data and tell you which ones you can apply for. So okay, so join FT8 Digital Mode Club. You, if you join it, you'll also get a nice, little certificate of membership. Um, so then how do you apply for awards? And they, uh, it says they, since they're, they, they, there's another European club, the Ultimate AAC, Ult Ultimate Awards Application Center. And you want to download their software and you have to, you have you're going you're going to get stopped by by your by Microsoft. I don't know if you guys all know how to uh, find the yes, accept the software, but it comes up with a little box and says this is potentially unsafe. And if you look at the bottom of the box, there's a bar, and you got to click on the right side of the bar to to see the other half of the page because they hide the box that says accept. But you have to do that, download the software. And then after you've downloaded it, okay, this is the file you get from the club, from the FT8 club. And there's this long uh, code here for downloading. So that you ha eventually you have to uh, cut and paste this code 
and plop it into the ultimate <clears throat> AAC box. So, okay. So we get to this. I, after I've downloaded it, I fi it finally recognizes me and I have to click again on the FT8 Digital Mode Club box. And I get another screen. And this is how you uh, send your ADI file to the FT8 Digital Mode Club. And these two uh, boxes here let you upload uh, upload your file. Once you've uploaded the file, it's 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 amazingly automatic, and the um, the software scan scans your ADI file and organizes a whole pile of awards. I mean, you don't have to really do a lot of work on your part. Uh, so I've got, let's see. Uh, so it it say org shows you a whole page of of uh, stations you worked in a particular category. This is a, is a snippet of, uh, I believe, worked all states, and it it uh, it analyzes this and sees, yeah, you did that. So then, then the next page, it also it also fine tunes it. And it's found out I worked all states, not only on combined all the bands, but I worked every state on 30 meters, which was somewhat of a surprise to me that I accomplished that. But uh, 30 meters is kind of my go-to evening band with my my particular antenna setup. Seems ha very happy, very happy there to work US and uh, and Europe on 30. So this is a typical award uh, screen of of what you get. Uh, this one is I, you know, at random. Oh, this is interesting. There's a picture of Steve carved on the rock there, and uh, worked Romanian station award. I work. So this is for having a minimum of ten QSOs to Romania. Well, <laughs> I accumulated. Of uh, 44, 44 awards. Uh, and, uh, again, this is, you know, for grinding it out. I mean, I, I do spend an inordinate amount of time watching TV and playing with the radio. Uh, <laughs> so it's nice and quiet here. I don't think my wife objects. Do you, Roz? So that I'm working the radio and you're doing your thing. Right. See, we coexist uh, quite well with this. And so I get this whole, here's one I worked all members. I got worked 900. I worked a thousand members of the D, uh, FT8 DMC, worked all states, uh, worked all of South America. And 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 it's sort of, and these are pretty, you know, they're, they're really nice illustrations. Here's an, Worked all states, worked all members again. You know, it's uh, where did I go back? Quick, back. Okay, well, that seemed to be the show. So, uh, at this point, I'll uh, stop my screen uh, share and uh, we can go back to a discussion. Well, we can go to have a discussion if anyone has any questions, and I'll go back to the slide. Are there any questions, or did I leave Johnny, you? How many uh, FTA contacts have you made in total? Uh oh. Well, let's see. In total, probably uh, 13. 14,000, including my previous call sign. Wow. That's quite a few. Yeah. And this is all, you know, with a, with a little screwdriver antenna on my balcony. So, you know, and mostly, mostly, mostly under 100 watts, though I do have this linear and it's still troublesome. I, I, the, the electrolytic capacitors are not properly installed 
and I've got pressure holding them to the PC board, and still this this unit is uh, will trip out randomly, and it'll reset right away if I bang on the top. So I've got to uh, pull pull it again and uh, try to tighten up the capacitor somehow. But the problem is the heat. The capacitor, the bottom of the capacitors are right over the heat sink. And so that means pulling off the heat sink. And that might be difficult. Maybe you got to put a fan on, another fan. But no, the caps are loose. They're just loose on the board. I've had this problem with these computer grade, you know, electrolytics with the screw terminals. If you don't really, if you don't tighten them up, they'll loosen. Even the the my my Dynalizer, a unit that I designed forty years ago, and you know we still repair them. I had a lot of problems with the, the those computer caps loosening up on the motherboard, and you know I developed my own strategies of how to tighten them up without pulling the whole machine apart, but. Uh, the the you know the screws have a you know wavy washer of some sort, and the thermal cycling can loosen up that screw or vibration. Okay, any other questions for Johnny on his presentation or in general? All right. Well, thank you for listening. And I hope it help you do something with FT8. I know. It's a lot of fun, you know, and it work it works when you can't make communication by voice and your QRM is out of sight. Well, there it just shows you that when there's a will, there's a way. And uh <clears throat> when he moved into where he is now, he was no longer able to get on sideband and is found another way to uh, still enjoy the hobby. That's great, Steve. All right. Okay. What do we got? 810. All right. Uh, does anybody wish to um, step up and make a statement, comment, question, anything? to the general membership, to the board, or? Yeah, or volunteer to give a talk next month. 